Hello, my name is Aaron Lewis and welcome to your detailed walkthrough tour of number 18 Elliman Street here in Gungarland. We're tucked away, it's nice and private. You're going to see more soon but it's directly opposite a nice parkland and kids area. But first of all the house itself on a nice flat block, four bedroom, ensuite, double garage, a completely single level freestanding house. It's got a beautiful street appeal and your tour starts at the front. So there's plenty of room for when your guests and friends come by, you can fit four cars, no problems here in the driveway. There's also a little bit of a gravel section to the side there uh, where you can also fit a couple more cars. Then have a look up, you've got this beautiful big established tree that you can see from your front living area. So you'll always know what season it is and because it's deciduous you'll uh, be blocked from that harsh westerly sun when you want to but when you want that nice warm sun in winter uh, you'll have that coming on in. There's also some beautiful established hedges all around the property and we'll see more of that but now come on inside. Come on inside. Okay, so you get a nice entryway just here. Heaps of space for uh, added furniture as well. But I think one of the best rooms of the house on the left-hand side is this huge living area. So it's a really, really nice space. And as you can see, this can be easily divided into two. You can have a nice big dining table if you wish. Uh, but then also just a really nice, nice big lounge area. So a beautiful uh, part of the home. It's got windows on three sides. So just making it nice, light, bright and airy. And then if you have a look out the window there, you'll see what I mentioned before, you've got the, uh, the park and the uh, playground. We are going to pop out there shortly, uh, but a really nice feature. So when it's uh, dinner time, you can just yell out to the kids that dinner's ready and they'll be back in probably about eight seconds, depending on how hungry they are. To keep you comfortable year round, you've got a ducted uh, gas heating, which is the round vents, and then also ducted evaporative cooling, which is the square vents. So this is a really, really nice room. And again, surprisingly spacious. And then you this start that flows through to the second living area and nearly as big and again you can see how much furniture uh, you can get in here and you can divide this into two or three sections again with your furniture and how, depending on how you want to live uh, with the family. And that flows directly off the kitchen so you get a nice good sized kitchen, heaps of bench space, lots of cupboards uh, as part of that. So just in front of you is the provision for the dishwasher. There's no dishwasher but you can easily add one. You've got the one and a quarter bowl sink. Uh, you've also got some nice stainless steel appliances. So you've got your fur, four burn-up gas cooktop, you've got your electric oven under here and then you've got your uh, externally ducted range wood just there as well. Lots of cupboards uh, just over this side there's the double pantry to keep the family well fed and then a good size fridge cavity just here. That's a sliding door to outside and we'll see more of that soon. Now the home can be segregated into sections so you've got this door just here if you want to segregate the bedroom wing. As we turn right so you've got the first of the four bedrooms and they're all really good size bedrooms so no problems at all uh, fitting queen and king size beds in all of these. So this has got a double built-in robe so you've got hanging and shelves options uh, in here and again all the bedrooms are really private too which is a nice feature. And speaking of that, all the bedrooms are completely segregated, so none of the bedrooms share any walls. Coming into the laundry, you've got the rear yard uh, access and plenty of space there for our storage and washing machine dryer. Next room, you've got your separate toilet and then directly past that, you've got the main bathroom. So nice neutral finishes, nice clean finishes. You've got your separate shower, also your separate bath, all important bathtub for the kids. Uh, and again, just nice finishes uh, throughout the home. Okay, directly opposite, we've got another bedroom in here. Uh, this is uh, looking out north across the, uh, the uh, rear yard. But it's set up as a kid's room, but heaps of space here if you want to put a, again, queen size bed or more. And then you've got double built in robes just there as well, which is great. And have a look at the, uh, the yard, it's beautiful. Coming on to our bedroom three, again, they're all completely segregated, as mentioned before, so no adjoining walls. Heaps of space in there. And then this one has a triple, I've got the, the, the view, I should say, the backyard. And this has got a triple robe just here. And we've saved the best for last. We've got the main bedroom at the end. Just before that, we've got the uh, linen cupboard. And then coming on into the main bedroom, so you can see that this really is the biggest and the best. Huge bed, king size bed here already. Still heaps of space for side tables, added furniture, baby cot, uh, dresses, whatever you like. And then have a look at that beautiful afternoon sun just coming in uh, there with again that view to the, uh, the rear yard. 
And then, as it should, you've got a nice big walk-in robe. So you've got on both sides, uh, you've got the, uh, the wardrobes, so heaps of uh, space there for uh, all your clothes on each side, and that flows into the ensuite. So similar finishes that we saw before. So nice neutral color scheme and a good size shower just there also. Okay, welcome outside. So you've got this really nice pergola area covered with a shade sail, uh, and again, amazingly private. So have a look at these really big, tall, established hedges. So if you like to come out, have your morning cup of tea in your pajamas or whatever you like, again, you've got some amazing privacy. Also directly north facing, so these living areas, you're gonna get lots of that uh, year round sunlight. You've also got the clear roof here as well, just get letting that sunshine in. So this outdoor entertaining space, you can comfortably fit a range of different furniture, two different zones, as you can see here. And then you've got the grass section over here as well. So if you've got a kid's trampoline or a bit of space for the, the dog, they're gonna love that too. Okay, the full yard tour coming around here. So as we're facing the front of the house on the left-hand side, there is the gate access. So that's a good spot if you wanna put uh, you know, storage shed, uh, the um, range of things, maybe the, the wheelie bins and things like that, a few different options. Okay, coming on round, I'll get you to follow through first. So around the side of the home, Again, these established hedges continue all the way around. So we're gonna go all the way around to the side. So get a bit more space here if you wanted to put, again, you know, further bits and pieces, like I said before, like a maybe a dog kennel or kid's cubby house or something like that, whatever you like. And then continue around. So again, you've got these beautiful hedges there as well. You've got the clothesline tucked away here in the corner. And then you've got this side access. So there's a hot water system. And then just to the side access for the laundry door and also the back door to the garage and check out this awesome park and playground where the kids can burn off steam. I bought my beautiful two daughters who are the best people to show you how amazing it is right here. Okay, finishing off the tour, you've got the all important double garage with internal access. There's a door behind me here that takes you into the backyard as well for easy access into the yard. And this is an oversized remote garage. So there's a bit of storage on the side for all of life's bits and pieces. So there you have it folks, that is the tour. We thought we'd bring you back into this room one more time because one of my favorite rooms of the house and I think you'll appreciate it too because it's huge, it's got amazing light, you've got amazing views of your, your pergola, your gardens, the park behind me and best of all what you see here is just display furniture, which means the property is gonna be offered with vacant possession. And if you're super, super keen and you wanna get your family in or your boxes in, whatever you need, we may even be able to get you early access prior to settlement. So we think it's an awesome location, a beautiful home, and we can't wait to show it to you in person. See you at the open home.